Okay, this video is for uh, Father Sen. Father Sen, your question is, I'm having problems dribbling. Or you want to improve your dribbling abilities. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? The solution. One second. The first thing you want to do is buy yourself. This ball was less than $12 on Amazon. Uh, I got a bad and ball, but it doesn't matter what type ball it is. It matters that it's a, it's small, it's small. That's important. I want you to buy the cheapest size one ball or size two ball that you can find, whatever's cheaper. Um, the reason this is important is because it's like, I noticed when I went to go play uh, Halo or Call of Duty, I learned a trick where, I'm not sure how I learned it, but I would raise my sensitivity on the remote settings very high. And this would make it so that when I started to look left and right, the controller would, I'd go left and it would jerk so far left that it was hard to, it was hard to control. But over time, I started to have a appreciate, I started to develop a, an awareness of the sensitivity, and then I, was, I would um, dominate the competition. Same thing using a size one ball. At first, it's gonna be harder to control, but as you um, just use it with repetition, you're gonna be able to manipulate it much better. So that's the key. Invest, right? If, you got, if you're low on cash, you could do some chores, or you could, you know, get get any any get some cash together and um, get yourself a size one ball Amazon. Um, the next thing you want to do, you want to download, you want to download the Cover Skills app, or you can look it up on YouTube. C O E R V E R Cover Skills app, and they have fundamental dribbling. They have fundamental ball mastery skills patterns. Right, so they start with, I think the first one is, is touches, toe touches. The second one is shuffles. And then they go through a progression, right? They're, they're fundamentals. This guy Cover has been around for a long time. And then it goes to uh, shuffle, stop, shuffle, stop, shuffle, stop, shuffle, stop. And as you improve your fundamentals, you're gonna have more fun, right? Improve fundamentals, have more fun. So I want you to get in the habit of spending, the habit of, of practice, practicing for one minute a day. If you practice for one minute a day for two weeks, not even two weeks, practice, I challenge you tomorrow when you wake up or you know, get whatever you need to do done, clean your room, make your bed, Right, get your get your laundry done, get your stuff sorted for your day, and then spend one minute a day uh, doing ball mastery or juggling. Uh, the next thing that you can do, um, quick story. I, I would go. I was the I was the worst player on my team, and my parents we brought me to this guy. His name is Tom Turnbull. He's a trainer, a soccer skills trainer out of New Jersey, and. We would do uh, we would do four we would do four exercises every day. The first was ball mastery. The second was soccer sequences, and I'm going to show you the one soccer sequence that's going to completely change completely change your life. It goes if you can only learn one. This is this is it. So listen up. You go outside, outside, inside. Outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. I want you to repeat this phrase out loud as you do it. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. All right, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Most players I try and teach this to, they try and go way too fast. I want you to internalize it, say it when you do it, take it nice and easy. Outside, outside, 
inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Practice this over and over and over and over. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. The beauty of this soccer sequence, this dribbling sequence, is that it's a foundation for all the moves you're gonna start to, to, to learn and to, um, right? It, it, works, it works with all, your, all the other moves and it's a foundation for dribbling, right? I call it the Rosetta Stone of dribbling, right? Because you could start to go outside, outside, inside, outside, scissor. Outside, outside, inside, outside, chop. Outside, outside, inside, outside, uh, step over. Outside, outside, inside, outside, L move, right? As you mo learn more moves, it's like the, it's like the starting, it's the first thing you wanna learn that's gonna unlock all your other move combinations. Um, this is why it makes it so powerful because it's a rhythmic, it's a rhythmic pattern, and it's gonna encourage not dribbling with the inside of your foot, right? It's you can't really run down the field like a duck. It's gonna encourage the outside of your foot dribbling, right? That's easier to do than than this, right? So it's 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 a uh, it just. It's a foundation for dribbling. It's the easiest way I can put it. So spend one minute a day on cover skills and drills, and maybe one minute a day on soccer sequence, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. And if you can do even one of those, one of those two things, or three things, right? We have a size one ball, cover skills and drills, and then we have soccer sequences. You start to incorporate into that that into your daily routine. I promise you, I promise you, your skills and your dribbling are gonna um, significantly improve. So try try some of those things and uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.